recording. There you go. Hey, and welcome back. Uh, this is uh, going up during PAX, but we recorded it uh, a week ago. So if you're on YouTube, as always, like, favorite, subscribe. Uh, if you happen to be at PAX right now and happen to be seeing this, please check us out over in Olive 8. We are demoing Defense Grid, the board game. Uh, it's coming along really good. We got some great feedback out of uh, Gen Con and Dragonflight. We'd love to have you give it a shot uh, because based on this feedback from this coming weekend, we don't have any more major cons for a while. Yeah. We'll be hitting some local things for playtest, but outside of that, the feedback's been good enough that we're now going to start building out the rest of the game and prep for our Kickstarter in January. So hopefully that all goes really, really well. Woo! It's a lot of work still left to do, uh, but we're moving right along. We're setting up now. This will be... Lan we're Lantern Year 3 now, right? Uh, yes, we are. Okay, let me update that on the screen for people. Uh, when does the Lantern Year technically change? Uh, at update lantern year on an uh, update timeline. Okay, so I'll have to try to watch that a little bit more closely. I can update that during settlement easy enough. Okay. Okay, so when do you think we should start talking about hunting the level two white lion? After we get dash. Oh yeah, yeah. Like it's basically not even worth talking about until we get dash. Yeah, we need dash. That's a good yeah, point. A plus dash would dash again. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we'll dash many times over and yes. over and over and over. Too okay. bad we lost the guy that had double dash. Oh, I should write in the extra ageless details here. Uh, okay. So, since King Cobra tried to have babies, had babies, he is now a man, and he is going to go out on the hunt. <laughs> so, everybody who's departing games three. Shit. What? Uh, I'm just kind of thinking, like, technically, Grass Noble is level, is, uh, uh, has, is age two. Which means that it makes sense to have her start learning a weapon proficiency. Oh. But the problem is, is that, like, she's precious to me, and I don't want her to die. Why is she so precious to you? Because she's got max understanding, and, um, uh, champion's right, and orator of death, and peerless, and, like, lots of stuff. <laughs> so... I mean, honestly, like, I was trying to keep her safe, but the truth of the matter is I probably just ought to equip her with the spear and call it a day. Yeah. And have her start uh, building up. Yep. That's kind of like, I'm looking at Coral Noble, and I'm really kind of worried about bringing him out right now, because I don't really have armor for him. But, um, he's... Very powerful, so might as well bring him out. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the... That's always the problem, now. I mean, like, it's just... Uh, so hard to make these kind of decisions. Okay, so two have... So, Departing Survivors gain plus three insanity. Okay, I already and added those to both mine. Plus one survival. Because of the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, because of our ammonia. <laughs> so I guess we're all insane. It has its pluses and its minuses. Okay, to do one. Posting on social media quick, letting people know we're still going. Uh, I actually have three. Yay! Okay, that's up. Oh, so I think we're all set up here. And, yeah, I, I, I can't help myself. I've got to bring these two characters. I, I definitely see why people are saying People of the Stars is all about the characters. Yeah. Though at certain points, if we don't think we're going to be able to gain them additional benefits yeah we ought to start swapping out here and there yeah well i'm bringing a newbie out oh you it are makes sense like i'm bringing like because i mean one of my guys died right oh so, yeah uh i'm bringing a newbie out because it makes sense to get 
them blooded. Blooded? Like, uh, i.e. have them have their first, like, experience out in the wild. Yeah, and if nothing else, you start gaining, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, pay? Yeah, so that you can get a weapon proficiency. Ooh, that's a good... Ooh. You know, dagger isn't a bad weapon proficiency. No, it's not bad. So, Coral will be getting dagger. There's a lot of daggers in the game. Yeah. Okay, and I gain... Do How much survival do we gain to party? Uh, just one. Okay, Unless so... Unless you have stuff that improves yeah. that. So I get one on Coral and three on Sidewinder. There we go. Okay, so... It's kind of funny because Grass Noble has um, ambidextrous and it's totally fucking useless. Really? Yeah. Because oh, right, you don't have to Heavy gear and a two-handed weapon. Yeah. Like, literally, like, she is dissatisfying it in every way possible. <laughs> okay, so now for the hunt phase. Okay, pass the... And you get our very first hunt. Scratching grounds. Ooh. Claw marks scar the ground. The survivors may choose to investigate. Each survivor that investigates gains plus one courage and rolls on the table. Your chances are event damage, nothing happens, or white lion claw, white lion resource. I'm rolling. Okay, so first sidewinder. He gets a courage. Yep. Yay! And he rolls an eight. Uh, nothing happens. Oh, what's the, what do you have to roll to get the thing? Nine or a ten. Okay. I will roll on grass. Uh, we get a white lion claw. Woohoo! Oh. And that comes out of the deck, right? Yeah. Okay. There was one guy, remember the guy who was, I think it was Midnight, was talking about, like, rolling, like, getting every, res practically every resource oh, in the yeah. fucking deck. That would be awesome. Yeah. Okay, rolling for Quarrel. A six. Uh, nothing happens. Okay. And rolling for King Cobra. Uh, one event damage to the arms location. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, and he gains. Don't forget to mark the under courage on the other character. I did. Okay. So yay, courage! No random hunt event. Okay. It is now Sidewinder's turn. And get these back over here onto the terrain. Where did I put the terrain deck? Helifano. Oh, I put it back. <laughs> it's an amazing concept. Okay, so, da da da, aromatic breeze. A hungry lion sniffs the survivors, musk on the wind. Move the white lion one space towards the survivors. <laughs> this is a quick hunt. Mm -hmm. um, yada yada yada. Uh, if the white lion ambushes, skip their first turn. We don't get ambushed. So, okay. does it say roll a random hunt event? Uh, yes. Okay. So, roll a random hunt. Uh, 64. 64. Okay. Stone Fountain. A pair of cupped stone hands rise out of the ground. The hands hold clear cold water that trickles through the stone fingers in a seemingly endless supply. Any survivor may choose to consume from the fountain. Gain plus one courage and roll on the table. Any survivor with binge eating disorder must consume. <laughs> um, okay. One through four, brain event damage. Five through eight, nothing. Nine plus survival. I like it. Um, brain event damage, just one? Yeah. And it would take off insanity. Yes. I'm fine with that. Okay, Sidewinder. Ten. Uh, gain plus one survival. So I get a courage and a survival. Yep. Sweet! And did you, does that get you to three? That gets me to four. Uh, no, um, uh... No, uh, no. Courage was. Okay, Grass Noble is gonna roll, because I love, I love me, my awake event. Eight. Oh, you get your awake event? Fresh. Yes. Awake! Okay. We're filling boxes, man! We are, are we? Oh, oh, interesting. Okay, I want to roll high. Of course I do. Ten! Gain plus one permanent accuracy and the unbreakable fighting art. Ooh! 
I like the permanent accuracy. We'll yeah. find out if Unbreakable is good. <laughs> Unbreakable. Oh, this is a new one. This is a custom campaign one. Yeah. Um, once per lantern year, you may ignore one of your severe injury roll results. If you do, gain a random disorder. That could be really nice. Uh, once per lantern year? Mm-hmm. Ignore severe injury roll. Result. So you get to roll it, get the result, and then ignore it. That's really nice. So if it's going to kill you, I'll take a disorder! <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wait, does that... You get a disorder? Yeah, you get a random disorder. If you use that. That's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's see what he gets. What does Coral get? A six. So I think that's nothing. Uh, what? On the... Random the, event. Uh, sorry, I was so busy with the, like, oh my god, oh my god, this is awesome, what's going on? This is amazing. Uh, 64, yes. Uh, six? Yes, it's yeah. water refreshing. Okay, cool. So I will also roll for King Cobra. Uh, that no. is a okay. six. So, nothing. But... A courage. Yeah. Because A plus courage. So both of my characters have max understanding and two courage. Yeah, I want to check quick because I need to make sure that it doesn't actually like give me a constellation. Okay. So I have nine understanding. Nope. You uh, need nine. Noble. Nope. Yeah, you're not going to have one yet. No, but I got unbreakable. Oh. Uh, no, I am not there yet. But right. I did, now I am close, all I need to do is get Weapon Master to be a Sculptor. Wow. Oh, wait, no, 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 I don't have Scar. Never mind. I'm crazy. I'm wrong. <laughs> so, Unbreakable. Okay, interesting. All right. And we encounter a white line. Mm, toys! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Need new toys? I am <laughs> super excited about this shit. So we're definitely going to get those. Yes, so pull one, uh... Tall grass out. Yep. I like the fact that we got an extra lion claw too. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. I mean, if nothing else, it's the bone we need to do the uh, one piece of armor. Yeah. Or it's uh, towards innovation. Or we can use it to make an arrow if we get sinew. Oh right. The lion claw arrow. But... Yeah. The lion claw arrow, even though we mostly miss, it's still nice for when it hits. Uh, and the thing is. Uh, that's the problem. Like, but if somebody has champions right, before making an attack, you may add your understanding to your accuracy attribute for the attack. You just have to hit. You do not have to wound with the arrow in order to get the toughness that's bonus. That's a good point. So if you put that on somebody who has champions right... Now, you can change your weapon proficiency at any time, right? Yes, but you lose all of your levels on it. Yeah, that course. might be a case where I switch Coral over to Bow, if yeah. we happen to pull it off, just because... Uh, oh wait, he doesn't have champions right. Never mind. Yeah. Sidewinder has it, so we might have to swap out whoever you're using. Yeah, we'll have to see. Yeah. That's a good point. That's a really good thing to... That's a great combo. Yeah. Ooh, but we can get champions right with an awakening event, or what was it? Yeah. Uh, we can get champions right with an awakening event, or, um, or, like, we got it out of an event, a different yeah. event, I think. Okay, so our terrains are three stone columns and a toppled pillar. Ugh. Yeah. Not my favorite. Toppled pillar, so three stone columns, you said? Yep. Okay. okay, three stone columns are the impassable, yada yada yada, four spaces from all, all other terrain. Stick them in the corners. Mm -hmm. And toppled pillar, block survivor and monster field of view, interrupts ranged weapon attacks. Um, and monster targeting, uh, can, survivors cannot move through it, or spaces occupied by this terrain. Um, if adjacent to it, you may spend your action to hop over it. So do we want to try to gain that? Let's see, can we do something there? So if we do that, put the toppled pillar say right there um or here i mean because we can basically like well yeah 
We can have some people who are not in this field of view to start the the thing. We could start with everybody out of this field of view. Yeah. So we could do something like I'm just throwing them out there. Mm -hmm. This and now he's not. No one's in the field of view. But without dash, we're not going to get into him. Yeah, he can't get around to us either. Yeah. So this might be good because then, if nothing else, our first turn we can get into the grass next to him. Yeah. Which might not be bad. Um, then let's do... One, two, three, four. We'll put that grass there because then he can also get into this grass. Mm -hmm. So who's your ranged guy? Uh, my ranged guy is uh, her. Okay. So let's put her here so that she can run and get into the grass as ranged. Okay. Um... Now, I'm not going to be able to make it into the grass with these guys for the first round, but we we'll, should be able to get in there next round. Okay. So I think that this is a good setup. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's just, uh, what's the rules on top of pillar? Uh, we can spend an action to jump over it. No, what's the rules on placement? Just anywhere? Uh, oh, five spaces away from the monster. Shit. Eh, they, they knew... They knew what they were doing. So we can do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, then... No preventing the monster from attacking. So dun, dun. And what we can do is one, two, three, four. So we can do that setup. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, no, that's not four away. Shit. But I can do that before away. Yeah. That's not bad. Though I find it funny that your armored person is hiding. Yeah, I'm not planning to actually hide him. I'm just setting up okay. positioning. So I'm thinking the armored person I will put in this corner here. Okay. Um, That's your ranged person, right? Mm -hmm. Let's leave her there. That's fine. Um, so that she doesn't have to move line Oh, aside. wait. No, she's not ranged. Uh, well, she's sort of ranged. She has reach two, but she's... Okay, like, then let's that's... keep her there, too. Okay, yeah. And then this is the range, the bone dart? Yeah. Okay, bone dart we'll put here, because you can just hop over, or, or you can just... Actually, you can make it into this grass here. Yeah. So I'll put this grass here. It's four away. You can, we can, you can run into here, and I can run into here. We can both make it in. Yeah, that seems reasonable to me. So we can... We will all be in grass safely. Yeah. That seems totally reasonable. Okay. Um, now I fix my gear grid. Oh, and I keep forgetting. I have the. Sur I forgot last time I could roll to keep my survival. Yeah. You got an habit, and then you lost the habit, man. Oh, uh, I gave the card to you. What can I say? Uh huh. But it's right in front of you. I know. I was mostly focused on having the two armor everywhere. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, we're good to go. Yep. So, are you still Monster Controller? Uh, no, that would go to you now. Okay. So, Monster Controller is going to be King Cobra. Claw. Closest threat facing in range. Closest threat in field of view. Okay, so you want me to target you? Yeah. Okay. So, we'll put him right I here. can't get behind him, by the way. I, oh, I can't attack him from behind. But you're ranged. Uh, yeah. I so, I'll put him range. there. Okay. Because now, one, two, three, four, no, still can't make it, but still. Okay. So now move and attack target. Okay. There is a chance he'll charge through us, though. Yeah. Uh, those would both be misses, I think. Yes, they are, especially since, uh, just for note, I have three evasion now. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. That's a little bit of a maniacal laughter, huh? Uh, yes. Oh, never mind. Okay. So, yeah, both miss. Okay, so now our turn? Yep. Okay, um... I think I'm going to do the run behind him. That's fine. I mean, that... I may get grabbed, but, like, sometimes shit happens. It's okay. Yeah, exactly. I need another die, so I'll steal one. Stealing my die. Poisoning them. Oh, wait, them. I need to update something here. I forgot Poisoning to... them. forgot to update the weapon. Uh, uh, the dagger is 371, so it's just an extra speed. There you go. And, uh... I'm perfect at evade survival. Which could be really nice. Okay, so, Sidewinder is attacking. 
and three hits. Starting out strong. Or getting a trap. Um, okay. So, I've got the tricep, the scapular deltoid, which I don't want to fail on, and the fleshy gut. And how does this work? Um... It's on the next wound for the uh, one thing, right? Faded mm -hmm. blow. Next wound attempt. Okay. Yeah. So. So if you wanted to use it on the scapular deltoid to try to avoid it, I'm going to use it last, and that. then yeah, that's what I'm planning to do. Um. I'm going to start with the fleshy gut. Da da da. Crit. Woo. Uh, get a random basic resource. Nice. And he vomits all over me, and it feels awesome. Okay. And I get three insanity as well. Alrighty then. So that was that. What AI card went into the wound deck? What was the devastating thing? That's, I didn't. Uh, if no. you use faded blood. Yeah, I didn't use that. Okay. Okay. So random basic. Right, yeah, random basic. Yay, random oh, basic. Oh, I like random basic. Ooh, random I like basic. anything that gives us resources. Holy shit, I love yes. resources. By the way, welcome. Looks like we got another viewer hopped on. Thank you for joining. Always feel, feel free, free to say hi. Yeah. Charles Fox is in here today. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, I know. I'm Skipping cool. one week just broke his rotation or something. Yeah. Making me cry, man. Yeah. Okay, so hide, which we really need. A plus. I love hide. Okay. okay. Next up, we've got a beast tricep. A crit! Okay. I'm rolling nines. I okay. like having Lion Beast guitars. For my shitty rolling, this is great. Yeah. Um, well. Tor the torn muscles causes agonizing pain. Discard one mood currently in play. Uh, nope. He's knocked down. Ah, oh, shit. Why? I can't attack him while he's knocked down. <laughs> Fucking honorable. Uh-huh. Um, but all hits roll succeed on three plus. You can't attack with the other character, though, which yeah. would be nice. Um... Did you do the wound? Uh, no, I did not yet do the wound. Okay, and now I'm going to blow Faded Blow uh, to hit his Beast Scalpular Deltoid. Okay. Wait, actually, should I use that? He's not. He's knocked down. He won't charge forward. Uh, will he not? Like, um... I thought knocked down. Oh, wait, uh, yeah, all reactions are canceled. So, yeah, you don't bother with Faded Blow. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with Faded Blow. Just, just hit him. Just hit the bastard. I wound him. I'm not complaining about three wounds. Yeah, no shit. That's an awesome start. Holy crap. Anyways, critting on that was... was you know I just awesome. blew all my raw luck. I crit twice. I know. And wounded a third time. I know. <laughs> it's over. I'm done. I'm not contributing at all the rest of this fight. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's over. Just, it's just done. <laughs> okay. Um... Ah, so bone darts. Which means you only need a three plus to hit. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and you hit. If I wound, it is the priority target. Ooh. Makes me a priority target. I'm that in grass, right? So that's fine. Yeah, right. I'm uh, in the way. Uh, I wounded. Okay, so you get priority target token? Yep. Okay. All right, so there's that. And, yeah. So, he's going to come right through there. So, but I can stand here in the grass. Yes. Just in case. Mm -hmm. But my one, oh, wait, no. I'm just going to st stand over here and watch my guy go shooting. <laughs> and not into me. Oh, yeah, that's a good, that's a good idea. <laughs> I was just thinking okay. about that. I really don't need my own guy to clobber my ass. Okay, so now a monster controller stands up, facing this way. Does not matter. Bam. Move and attack. Knock back how much? Uh, it's six, I think. Four, five, six. I get knocked down as well, I believe. Yep. Okay. What were we saying about me being useless the rest of the fight? <laughs> yeah. Alrighty then. Ooh, two hits. Oh wait. 
<laughs> Ooh, two hits, he says. Ugh, oh, shit. Okay. You I'm can gonna, dodge. I am going to dodge the arms. Okay. Because otherwise, it would be uh, a roll on the table. Oh. Because I already had a vent damage on the arms. Oh, so and it's two damage down. from this? Yes. I am knocked down. I suffer minus one survival, so that leaves me at zero survival. Does the priority target token go away? Yes. Okay. And I gain two bleed tokens. Ooh. That's what we used to farm the guy, by the way. Oh, that was? Yeah. <laughs> Do we want to farm him again? Only if you crit, luckily. Yeah. Um, there we go. And you mark the bleeds on the screen? Yes. Yeah, okay. I'll mark the bleeds. Zero survival, heavy body damage, and arms damage. Okay, okay so our turn. Yes. I only Out. have one survival on my guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have two on this one. Ooh. How much on the other character? Uh, he is zero. Okay, could you spend one to stand up my guy, and then I'll stand up yours? Okay. Okay. So both of our characters are stood up. I'll roll to see if I... Oh, wait. I keep my survival. I have peerless... What does I that do? I gained three insanity, which means I actually have three survival because I would have had, um, ah. I just spent one and that would leave me with four. Okay, yeah. sweet. Or, yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. So I kept my survival, which mm -hmm. is good. Oh, I forgot to put it as that four. There we go. Um, okay, so now we can take our actions. Yes. Um, who's your ranged guy? Him? Yeah. He, or he, or which, or he's the bone dart, right? Yes. He's the spear. Yep. Yeah. Do you want to run up behind him, or I can't run up behind him. I'm honorable. Oh right, but you could hit from here. Yes. Okay. I could hit from there. Okay. Um, I'm gonna then run up behind him with this guy. Unless, actually, do you want to move your bone dart out of the way and shoot him from ranged? Yeah. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Well, except for the fact that, like, he doesn't really need to be eaten. Suddenly we're anymore. getting more followers. Thank you. Or not followers, but watchers. Crit. Perfect hit. Beast chest. It's huh? too quiet today, though. This is, like, the first time since, like, our first... I don't know. No, I think this is the first time we haven't really had people talk. Except for Daisy X. Full failure. Full move monster forward in a straight line. I need survivors passed over suffer grab. Which does what? Knock down. And one damage to the hands. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> You're like totally fucking my guy up. It's I, all your fault. I am encouraging your shit. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I understand. Um, though I do think don't don't run up yet. He may yet come back. Okay. Um, I am going to encourage him using coral. Okay. Didn't you encourage... Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but you check to see whether or not you've lost the surf. Oh, That's yeah. That's yeah, yeah. So I'm going to encourage him with Coral. Mm -hmm. Then he's going to run behind and actually try to take a hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Last time he was quite successful at this. Yeah. I don't think he's coming back, though, man. Uh, one hit. <laughs> and only because I was behind him. Oh, I'm going to have to. Well, I might not fail. Mm -hmm. Okay. I hit. So no failure, nothing special. And then one, two, three, four, five. Let's hit him with this dagger. Oh. That would be... Two hits. Oh. And he's got plus two. Oh. Three hits. I forgot his accuracy. Oh, yes. <laughs> he has plus one accuracy now. Um, I probably missed a hit, actually, that I should have run with Sidewinder, but such is life. And that would be a clever ploy. Your last one was a clever ploy? No, it was the middle one. Okay. <laughs> the last one was the fuzzy groin. Okay. <laughs> so that's a basic attack. So roll a basic attack versus my shitty guy. 
Uh, one miss. I Sweet. Think. Yeah, oh, I've wait. got I've got an evasion. You've got one evasion. I've got one evasion. Okay. Um, unfortunately, he cannot dodge. Body. So he takes light damage to the body. Let's hope it stops there. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, that was a trap. Okay. Okay, so you want to run forward? Yeah. I wouldn't run straight forward in case he charges. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. He'd hit you. That's why I say not straight forward. Yeah. I didn't go straight forward, though. <laughs> I understand. No, you could come up to here instead, I think. Yeah. No. One, two, three, four, five. You could be here. Um, mm. There you go. All right. Because that puts you in range to hit him angled now. Dun, dun, dun. Ground fighting. Though, ironically, my, uh, my spear can actually get him, too. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, you're one, two, three, four, five, six. You'd have to move up one. Yeah. Nice. Not so nice. So he moves and attacks you? Yep. Cannot I roll. It. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, do you have any evasion? No. Two hits. It's not going to be good. Really? Yep. Yeah, it's not. Oh. Both on the head. Oh, my God. I'm just heavily injured. <laughs> Because of the headdress. The headdress. <laughs> oh, that's fucking awesome. I'm just heavily injured because it's only one damage. Wow. Oh my god, thank god. That's actually kind of awesome. Yeah, alright, awesome. Okay, so since he has ground fighting in play, I am going to... Um, Walk up one and stab him? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I have to do it from there because yeah. otherwise... Uh, no, if you do it angled, you're... One... You'd still be in ground fighting. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so you're not in a line. Yeah. Okay. So if he charges forward, I won't. He won't hit me. That's a good call. So two, six, three. Except I have an accuracy plus one. So and I have a strength token which isn't written on here because I I have uh, chaotic. Okay, so we need to hit with that now. Uh, I need a five. Okay, and I'll get you the strength token. Uh, one perfect hit, one not hit. One perfect hit, one not hit. Okay. Okay. So, strange hand. Ooh, cut it off, cut it off, cut it off. What do you need to hit? Uh, I need a, uh, so I have plus one strength, so four, so I need a four. Is that plus one strength including your token? Yeah. Like, I don't have the, uh, I don't have a strength here. Oh, it's okay. The, the token version. That is a hit. It is not critical. Okay. Not deadly. So, but that hurts him and ground fighting goes away. Sweet. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to... And I wounded him with the spear. One, two, so three, good. four, five. Run behind him. And let's see how my... If I can keep my crits going. So... Wow, that was a shitty roll. So I get, he's a six normally, I have an accuracy, so I hit him once. I rolled three fours and a five. It's pretty much the definition of shitty. Okay, beast heal. Damage, no crit, nothing happens. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to spend a survival on Sidewinder to stand you up. Is that beneficial? Yeah. No. Or you've already attacked? I already attacked. Oh, you did. Okay. Then I never mean, mind. I, yeah, and I had to move to get into position yeah. to attack. Okay. Then he's going to step behind and stab him. How many dice was that? Two. Don't you have the knife? Oh, yeah. Three. One crit. So I get a survival. 
And hold on. I think I might get another hit. Yeah, because I have the accuracy. I get two hits. And I get a survival back. Have a couple of hits? I hope. Beast back and a beast chest. Both of them, if I fail, he goes, Whee! Oh, I liked you, King Cobra. You were good. <laughs> yeah, no shit. But I technically have three strength onto this, so I only need a five. Okay. Hey, that's better than 50% chance. Um, it only gives me a 25% chance. Of I'm going to go for the chest first. Okay. That's a one. <laughs> Whee! All right. And one damage. To your arms. Still alive. Oh, I was about to say, is that the one thing I couldn't hit? Okay. Yep. Sorry, you didn't move him all the way, so I was trying to figure out whether or not it was which yeah. one it was. Okay, so that cancels your hit, so yep. those go that away. That would have been nice. I would have gotten a white line resource and possibly uh, insta-kill. Wow, that would have been nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so switch monster controller. Okay. And Claw. Closest threat uh, facing in range. Closest threat in field of view. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Same for all of us. Mm -hmm. um, I really don't care about that insanity on him. I'm going to have him go at Sidewinder. Okay. Armor and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, one hit, and he's going to dodge it. Okay. And loses accurate or loses survival. That don't don't really matter. Yeah, it's I'm still okay with that. I mean, I yeah, it's not great, but I mean, having this free evasion is fucking insane. Yeah, I love that. It's like it makes me want to get more from the monster grease, but given his gear, that's impossible. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting three greens. Yeah, it's not happening. Well, we could switch around gear later. Yeah, but then I'd lose off of, uh, yeah, I, it's a trade-off. It's because he has the two guitars, it's probably not going to happen. Mm -hmm. But he's going to, your stand up. <clears throat> I said you. He's going to try to stab him in the back again. I figure I have the biggest chance of crit. It's fine. Three hits. I mean, I got my spear hit in, so I'm not, oh, I don't yeah. really care. Oh, shoot, I haven't gotten the dagger hit in, have I? No, I got a dagger hit in. Okay. Okay, that's a good call. Okay, so three hits. What do I want? Random lion lion resource. I want that. What lion claw resource. And... <laughs> What? I'm just imagining they're hauling off his claws one thing at a time. <laughs> okay, so the beast femur first. Crit! Random white lion racers? Yep. And negative one movement token. Which could be really nice right now. I think you're accumulating decks. Uh, I don't think I have the white lion resource deck. I thought you fished the lion claw out of it. I might have. Oh, there yeah. It is. You're accumulating decks. So I'll let you this do is. this one. <laughs> um, and did you damage him? No, I did not. Okay. Beast Paw. That's just the damage. Okay. So right now the only thing he has left is Claw. And Knee. A damage. Okay. He's down to basic action. I'm going to let you try to kill him rather than my guy with no armor. <gasps> we got the eye? Huh? We got the eye! Yes! Fuck yes! Oh. Bam! Holy shit! Okay, so I will move into the grass and try to nail him with my king spear. Oh, man. Bam! Be one perfect hit. Uh, I don't think I hit with the other one. Okay, beast ribs. 
The attacker has plus three understanding. I get, I get a survival. So if I wound him... You get a survival. Yep. Unless you crit. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Okay, so... That would be a six, which is a wound. So he's dead. He is dead. I gained plus one survival. Nice. I have three. The sound of cracking ribs is encouraging. Yes, it is. I like cracking ribs. <laughs> Sign me up. Okay, so I get a dagger proficiency. Yep. And a Qatar second proficiency. I almost have specialist. Okay. I don't even know what Qatar does for me for specialist. I don't remember. Um. So I got my hunt XP. I didn't gain any aid. Oh wait, uh, yeah, I need to mark the hunt XP, but I don't gain any age. How well, about you? You're not required to gain. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't age. Yeah, I'm gonna keep gaining it because, well, why not? For now, yeah. I mean, yeah. <gasps> Another fucking whisker. Oh, we got the lion tail. Yeah. Send you, send you, send you. Nope. Aw. Well, at least we got fur. Yeah. The uh, lion tail I don't think is useful, useful though. No, you make a whip. Oh, really? Yeah, you can make a whip. Huh. I might be tempted to do that. It's another way of getting moods off, I thought. Whip. Oh, wait, no. The whip is only leather. Oh. I thought that the lion tail was for that. I'll look it up. Still, that's good resources. Yeah, I'm not complaining. A plus resources. Okay, so this is going to go to your character over there. For next action. Let's get these cleared off. Okay. Locations. So did you pull our basics? Not yet. Working on that. Just love some of these abilities. Power. Well, the whisker is an organ. Yeah. So since we don't need an extra one of that, no. that's still nice to have. Yeah, we don't need two whisker arms. Okay. Till we fucking lose one, and then we cry. Yeah, pretty much. Some fucking breaks or something. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is that first section, I'm just going to put that up as a solid video, and I'm going to be breaking the videos while we record. That'll make life easier, rather yeah. than having to load in Premiere and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm lazy. Except for when everything else I have to do. Oh god, editing that audio on the He-Man video. By the way, if you're watching and you want to watch a kind of awesome game, I recorded a custom He-Man game at uh, Dragonflight and put it up on YouTube. It's actually pretty cool. It's a war game built off of He-Man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we get a monster organ. Okay. We get a skull. Oh, we shit. get a monster bone. And we get another hide. Uh, so a survivor of your choice gains plus one insanity. I don't need it. Do you? Uh, I'll take it on uh, King Cobra. Cool. Puts him to four. Okay. <laughs> you can consume the organ? I never noticed this. On a result of six plus, you can track the parasite. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. What does the parasite do? Kill you? Uh, archive all consumable gear in your grid now. Yeah. Why would you consume that? I don't know. Okay, so uh, that's it for this part, right? Uh, yes. Uh, okay, so for those on Twitch, we're going to continue. For those on YouTube, we're now splitting our hunts and settlements into separate videos. So if you have a preference on what you want to watch, you can now... Go pick and choose and just watch the sections you'd like. Uh, so for you, we'll be back with them in a moment.